man. I built this long before I know anything like you so exist. And you have no rights in this house to tell nobody how they could behave and how they can behave. Well, I live in, in this house. And as long as I live in here, I have some rights. And Charlie is my little brother. I have to protect him. The trouble with you, Tiny, is you want to run everybody life for them. You want to dictate what they can do and what they can't do. Girl. Charlie called to say he was sick, so I thought I'd come over to see what is wrong with him. Oh, oh. Is he inside? No, he's not inside. But how is he? I really don't know. But he's sick, isn't he? If he tell you he's sick, he's sick. Come and sit down. I have to see him first. You have any idea where he is? None at all. He's probably more sick than I thought. You sure he's not in hospital? I don't think so. I have to find him. By the way, I'm sorry I can be here for the wedding, but I had a stall to run in our church harvest. Charlie did tell me about it. But everything came off quite well, I hear. Everything come off good. I have to go now. I must find Charlie. sensitive about that. No sensible person cares about that. They look at the real you, the person inside. But the children laugh and tease me. They're silly. When they tease me, I'll come to you. There are times you have to stand up for yourself. Do things on your own to make them respect you. You mean fight? Sometimes. That is why it is good to learn to defend yourself. But there are other times that you can win a battle without fighting or without even calling someone to help you. Afternoon. I'm looking for a man, Charlie, who is staying at the Walkers. I know him. Do you know where I could find him? What you going to pay if you tell him? A dollar. Each? All right. Where is he? The money first. Don't you trust me? No. Now, where is he? Tell Shibili. He's staying by Miller Hotel. How do I get there? You go straight down the road. Till you come to a forward, and they take a left, right, and they take a right, right, and they take another left, right, you get it? I'll find it, thank you. Try.
Well? I'm back. How did it go? Pretty good. Cindy won a couple of races, but the others were disappointing. The relays? Too many weak legs. How has my boy been behaving? Pretty okay. He's developing quite a kick. Good. He will be a footballer. <laughs> Miss me? Uh, let me see. You have five seconds to answer yes or no. No. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> you saw Ron? Sure. And how is he doing? All right. A lot of work though. You went out with him last night? Yeah. You and who? Ron, of course. You and Ron and who else? You're being silly, Teresa. I see nothing silly in a wife wanting to know who her husband went out with. I told you Roll and I went out. You want to make something of it? I'm not making anything of it. I just asked you and who went... Hey, Teresa, I would not tolerate you for examining me every time I go out. I don't have to give an account of my movement. Either you trust me or you don't. If you do, there is no need for the course examination. If you don't, well then, we might as well separate now. I said I'm sorry. Being sorry doesn't make everything all right. What do you want? For me to kneel down and beg for forgiveness? When a man comes home, he expects to find a place of peace, not a lot of nagging. Hello, can I help? I came for Mr. Charles Walters, the guest here. Charles Walters? You mean Charlie? That's what I call him too. Yes, he's here. I'd like to see him. Who should I see wants to see him? His wife. His wife? Yes, how is he? Still sick? Very sick. I'll get him for you. Maybe I better come with you. No, you stay right here. Is here. Oh my God, she'll kill me. What happened? My wife. Is he there? He's oh. out. Who are you speaking to? Wrong room. Oh my gosh. Charlie, open the door this instant. You hear what I say, Charlie? Charlie, I say open the door before I break it down. Madam, you'll damage yourself. That's nothing compared to what I do to Charlie and whoever is in there with him. What happened, Charlie? Where is she? Who is who? The woman who was in here with you. Where is she, Charlie? Nobody was in here, Betty. I was in bed with a fever. Look how I'm sweating. You think I'm stupid, Charlie? How could I think such a thing? She thinks I had a woman here. A woman? Why, poor Charlie came in here half dead with a virus. All he kept saying is that he didn't want to give it to his wife and children. It's true. Cross my heart and hope to die. Now that you are both here, you might as well have a second honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> 